Wow. No way. Again he... Uh, no, he looks different. Only one head is alive. Avenger of the Vortex, Beisht. Who is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, let's go fetch the Adepta! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyua must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! Wow! Like Gilgamesh make rain of weapons. That was wasteful effort, you know. Why are you so weak now? Traveler. You are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. So heroes never die. Okay. What are you doing here? We can't let you be the only one taking this risk. I hardly see this as a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. Oh, 
obey! No one escapes my sights! I must leave no stone unturned. Be gentle. Tear 
a smash! We did it! Shouldn't we go after her? This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. <sighs> I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted New to deal boss. with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Keqing's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Millilith, thank you for your service. I... Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. But you're aware. I just wanted to protect you. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen He. Yeah. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidence some degree of novelty. Do you see, guys? There is another flying city. I have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable that is a lot bigger than Jade's palace. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough but there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter while the position of Tianjin remains mine I will always ensure Liyue's safety Shen He one saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago and noticed the air of dejection in which you returned Hopefully, this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but... I feel happier than I expected. Good to hear. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shen He. She is a dear child. In fact... One has many fond memories of Shen He's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. There'll be no need for that. Oh. Hm. They are all like this. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. <laughs> Please, have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. Mm. 
mining time. About here. The Melilith's casualties are within the range we expected. But in hindsight, there were still flaws with our plan. Yeah. If we had more time, we could have built a barrier here to absorb the impact of the waves. That's a good idea. We must learn from this experience and never repeat the same mistakes again. We were fortunate to have your assistance this time. The Melilith's casualty, but in hindsight, okay, if we had more the same time, we must deal. learn from the See you later. Oh, there's more of these. my distinguished guest. I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please, help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Ms. Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform The Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Hey, look! Ms. Yun is going on stage!
时鹤归，茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。Did you think? Personally, I thought I sang rather well. It was beautiful. Paimon wants to learn too. It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Liyue Harbor. Thank you. I think I found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Great to see you. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it. Like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. <laughs> this was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair, all right. We'll all have a friendly chat, get better acquainted. <sighs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh-oh, this feels all too familiar. Shenhe's back to her old self again. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhe. Calm down. To act, one must first feel. After our trip to Mount Tianhong together, I felt much more in touch with the character today. I believe I was able to deliver a more profound performance because of it. Next time I have a new opera, may we study the character together again? Hmm, now that I think about it, I'm glad Master sent me here to deliver the sigils. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the chance to meet you. I'm sure I have much to learn from you in the future. Yep. You've made an exceptional contribution toward the building of the new Jade Chamber. I will not forget this. I shall be sure to repay your kindness at an appropriate juncture. I wonder when I'll be able to build a Jade Chamber of my own. <sighs> It'll take a lot more wealth than I have now. But hey, you've got to dream big. Who knows, if I keep working at it, Maybe one day. Drinking and watching opera in the Jade Chamber. A rare and exquisite pleasure. More wine! More wine! Stop drinking. Go home. <laughs> 